what should I do if I get a traffic ticket in the state of South Carolina? My name is David Ayler. I'm a criminal defense and personal injury attorney out of the Charleston, South Carolina area, and I'd like to explain a few things that one should make sure that they follow when receiving a traffic citation in the state of South Carolina. First and foremost, as silly as it may sound, you need to confirm the date of your actual court appearance. The date will be written on the ticket, however, sometimes that date may change. So it's very important, at least one week prior to your court date, to call the clerk of court's office for the ticket and confirm that that is your actual date. If, in fact, you need to get a continuance due to a conflict, that needs to be done in writing to the clerk of court and make sure that it is confirmed and continued by the court before not appearing for the initial appearance. When going to traffic court, if you'd like to speak with the officer prior to the actual date and hearing time, it's very important to appear early. See if the officer will take a minute to speak with you regarding the ticket before you have to get in front of the judge. Once in front of the judge, you want to speak very clearly and calmly and dress as appropriate as possible for the court hearing. If you feel like that you are not guilty of the violation, it is important to plead not guilty. However, if you're just looking for a reduction, due to the violation that you did cause, then simply tell the judge that and move forward. Usually the officers in most circumstances will work with you in regards to your ticket cost and sometimes the points as well. Finally, if you feel that you did not commit the act that you've been cited for and feel strongly enough to incur the fee of an attorney, it is important to get with an attorney prior to your actual hearing, then the attorney will handle the court appearance and guide you as to what you need to do proceeding forward with the actual court hearing. If you miss your court date and do not hire an attorney, you will be found guilty in your absence and face substantial fines as well as potential jail time. I share with you these basic tips regarding traffic court so that you may have a better understanding of the criminal justice system, specifically traffic court, here in the state of South Carolina. If you like this video, please click like or share with your friends or make comments below. If you have further questions related to traffic court or other criminal issues, as well as civil claims, you can always contact me at my office at 843-577-5530 or on the web at www.davidaylor.com. Thanks for watching.